The Master Assistant now has two different modes. There's the original modern version as well as the new vintage version. <laughs> new vintage, that's kind of an oxymoron, isn't it? But let's put a couple of tracks into this project. So what I'm going to do is drag in two of the exact same audio files. There's a trick to this. If you do want to put two of the same files into Ozone and process them differently, you'll need to duplicate the original file and then rename the copy. And that way you can drag both of them into Ozone and they will both appear on their own individual tabs. So here's our first version. Let's go to the Master Assistant and we can choose which modules we want to use during the assisting process. So we can use the normal modern version or we could choose vintage. Let's use modern for right now. We're going to choose in the second section here the loudness and EQ. We're going to go with a manual setting with an intensity of medium. And then I'm going to choose the destination type for this particular audio. In other words, if you wanted to upload it to a streaming site, you'd want to choose streaming. Or if you're going to burn it onto an audio CD, you'll want to choose CD. The difference being that streaming and CD will adjust the maximizer mastering limiter output level to match that of the different types of deliveries. But once we have these things set, I'm going to hit next, and then it's going to ask me to play some audio so I'm going to choose this little section of the audio right here because it happens to be the loudest so let's go ahead and press play it's going to analyze the audio and it's going to set the equalizer based on the spectral balance then it's going to analyze the dynamic range it's also going to look at the dynamics and determine if it needs to add any compression to the audio. You can see here that it says no extreme dynamic range detected. And then it's going to set the maximizer threshold to hit the target loudness. Then it's going to adjust the maximizer and it's going to adjust the dynamic EQ so that the maximizer's processing appears more transparent. So let's click accept. And now we have an equalizer with the EQ adjusted. There are no dynamics that it applied, but the dynamic EQ has been applied to make the maximizer processing sound more transparent. But that is using the modern modules. What if we wanted to use the vintage modules? Let's go to our second copy of this song and go back to the master assistant. And now instead of choosing the modern modules, we're going to choose the vintage modules. We're also going to choose the manual setting as well as the intensity of medium. If you really wanted to make it sound loud and intense, you can increase that. Or if you wanted to decrease it a bit, let's leave it right in the middle for medium. And then our destination is also going to be CD. Then we can click next and I'm going to play the exact same section of audio into this process of the master assistant it's going to do all the same processing but instead of using the modern modules it's going to use all of the vintage modules that come with ozone 9 but you can see here it's doing a lot of the same things just using a different module and in just a moment it will be done I'll hit accept and now we can see that it's using an equalizer. It's also using a vintage equalizer with a little bit of low end boost and a little bit of high cut. And it's using the vintage compressor. So this time, instead of bypassing the compressor, it's using the vintage compressor to give it a little bit of a squeeze. That squeeze is going to feel and sound more analog. And instead of using the maximizer alone, it's going to use the vintage limiter to cut some of those really high peaks off of the output level. And then it's going to use the final maximizer, but only in a very, very gentle way. You can see that it is only setting a threshold very, very high because the quality of the limiting is really established by the vintage limiter. The maximizer is only there as a digital backup to prevent those really high peaks from going over the threshold of only minus 0.5 dB. And now that we've got those both processed, let's AB the two so that you can hear the difference between the modern setting and the vintage setting. I'm going to go back to our original settings on the first tab. This is the modern processing.
then here's our vintage. And now I'll switch back and forth quickly so you can hear the differences. You can actually see that the modern version has more peaks. It has more of that uh, modern digital sort of impact, whereas the vintage version has a lot of those peaks ramped off, but it sounds thicker and warmer because of it. So try both of those different modes in the Master Assistant and see if you get different results using the modern or vintage modules. So that's the Master Assistant Vintage Mode. Next, let's talk about Master Rebalance.